In this video, I'm gonna talk about the Minnesota State Adjuster's License and why it is so important for you to get this license, starting now. This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters First. This video is sponsored by Hague Education. Use code ADJUSTERTV to get a 15% discount on damage assessment, CE training, industry certifications, books, and tools at HagueEducation.com. Hey, Matt here with Adjuster TV, and let's talk about Minnesota, okay? So Minnesota is a state that is up in the upper Midwest, which you may or may not be aware of. It's sandwiched between Wisconsin on one side and North and South Dakota on the other, and Iowa, and... Uh, is it just Iowa? I can't, I have to look at a map. Anyway, so it's it's in the upper Midwest, right? Minnesota is, th there, there are other states up there where you, you can work and you can work a lot, especially doing hailstorms in the summertime and that would be in the Dakotas, right? So um, Cedar Rapids, um, Fargo, right? Bismarck, those places get a lot of hail and there's a lot of, there's a lot of property up there that you can, you can, you know, be deployed to work claims on, right? Um, Wisconsin, neither one of those states have licenses. Wisconsin, also a state that does not have a state adjuster license. You got Milwaukee, right? You've got Madison, you've got Green Bay and Appleton, right? There's a lot of places up in La Crosse. Um, you got a lot of places up in, in Wisconsin, big, big state up there um, that you can, that gets, they get hail probably every single summer. I, when I was working for a company that had a lot of policies in force up there, uh, over 15 years I was there almost all summer, every single summer in, in Wisconsin, and, and as well as Minnesota. Minnesota has a state adjuster license, and on top of that, it's got Minneapolis, St. Paul, it's got St. Cloud, it's got Duluth, right? There's some there's some major metros there. Minneapolis, St. Paul being like the, the big bad, the big daddy of the, of the population centers, Eden Prairie, right? All those places around that, that major city, right? And there's a lot a lot of residential areas in the greater Minneapolis St. Paul metro, right? Which means that it is a place where if they do get a hailstorm that hits the, the middle of the city, they get high winds and trees down and all that kind of stuff, there's gonna be a high volume of claims, right? And there's some companies up there, American Family is kind of a prime example, um, where they have their HQ is in Madison, Wisconsin, which is just right down the highway. They have another major um, like office, like sort of presence, um, like a company presence in Eden Prairie, Minnesota, which is again, like an out on the sort of a suburb of the city. Um, so they have lots and lots, most people, I, I don't know if most, but a lot of people in Minnesota at large and the city, you know, specifically have a uh, American family as their insurance company, right? So, and, and State Farm's up there and Allstate and everybody else is up there. That's one reason, one of the, the a multitude of reasons, several reasons here. The second reason, for whatever reason, I don't know why, I don't, I, I haven't done an analysis of it or, or looked up to see, you know, the specific reason for this, but for some reason, material and labor prices in Minnesota are higher than they are in neighboring states, right? Especially like places like Iowa or the Dakotas. You replace a 25 square three tab roof in Eden Prairie, it's gonna be more expensive. You're gonna write a, a bigger estimate using a, a, the exact zip code pricing than you would the exact same house if it was in Fargo, North Dakota, right? For some reason, just higher, right? So your fee bills can be higher, right? So you have higher potential earnings there for the same amount of work, right? It doesn't, doesn't take more work to write a to, to write a, a higher roof estimate that was that's cheaper someplace else, right? Um, and then the third reason, uh, this is probably the biggest reason, and that is is that Minnesota is a matching state, which is, means that the insurance companies are required to wrap houses um, for unavailable materials, right? And it's it's common to encounter unavailable, especially things like siding, right? So you can have a claim where you've got, you know, instead of in, in, a, in another state, they may have the contrast to this is that they may have like a uniform, reasonable uniform appearance. If you have something that's just close enough and you replace one side and then the other side, as long as it kind of, it's like somebody walking down the street, driving by, can look at the house and then not notice that there's a difference right from the street, uniform, reasonable appearance. Whereas in Minnesota, they're like, no, no, if it's not, if that specific one is not available, then 
we got to redo the whole thing all the way or all four sides, right? So you can have a claim where you've got the roof and gutters and if the siding was available, one side of siding, right? And then some window wraps and then maybe a, a detached garage or the same thing. But then the siding comes back as you do a, take an ITEL sample or you do an ITEL sample thing and it comes back, oh, sorry, that one's not available. Now, instead of just getting a roof, gutters, window wraps and one side of siding, right? And that might be like a, call it an $18,000 claim, now you're doing multiplying the siding estimate by four at, at the minimum, especially if like you were just paying for one short end of a long house and now you get to pay for the two long ends and then the other short end, right? This could be a $35,000. It could double this claim, right? And if, and if you have an outbuilding, a detached garage or whatever, it's the same exact thing. It's significant, right? So your, your potential, and, you, and as long as you've got the measurements, of those the rest of those elevations at the house while you're there, they don't want to have to do a whole lot else other than just drop in siding line items for those other three sides. The, the potential for earning, even on a mediocre fee schedule, because the claims can be so big, is significant. So for that reason, I always include Minnesota in um, any short list of, of licenses that I tell people to get. So if you're like, if I'm like, well, you know, or you ask me, I get this question. Well, you know, I can only get a few licenses to start. Where should I really focus my attention? Like Texas, Florida, Minnesota, New York, right? Oklahoma, the places that are kind of that run from Texas to, up the north to the, to the border of Canada, where you've got, you know, that's where the, a lot of hail is going to be. And then, of course, Florida, because they're hanging out there in the Gulf and the Atlantic, getting hit by every hurricane that comes by. And then New York for, obviously, for the population reasons. Get them all, right? It's important to get them all. But if you need to focus your attention, start in the Midwest, right? From Texas to the, the Canadian border, get everything in, in between, like, I would say get everything east of the Rockies, um, and then work on the, the Northwest and Northeast, California, and then the other states um, as you, later as you have time. But Minnesota is absolutely a critical license to get. If you wanna watch the rest of this episode where I answer other questions ad-free, as well as get access to a members only segment question and answer, head on over to adjustertvplus.com and become a member right now.